a phone call. Huh, from Elkhart. I have no clue. Let's find out who's calling. I, I, didn't, I didn't call anybody. They called me. But anyway, it's telling me that a number I dialed. Yeah, didn't happen. All right. So hopefully from now on, we have clean connection. I have a solid green. We'll hope it stays solid green. All right, so we're looking at the first game that LLMP played uh, in the under-1800 World Championship Tournament. Let's change our glasses here. Okay. It's, uh, it's, somebody likes trying to call me, but uh, failing. Okay, so we get an advanced. This is called the advanced variation, Chess Wizard. You're playing the advanced variation. Hey, okay. T is good. And this is normal. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with this. Another move is this. So you could play either one of these chess wizard and you'd be fine. Um, by the way, you guys have played a lot of games. Uh, 40 some odd games against each other. That's pretty cool. Anyway, all of this is standard. Uh, taking here early is fine. But normally you take back with the pawn. Because the idea is to maintain this long pawn chain. So even if you don't know the opening, this is what I try to teach you guys, right? You don't have to study all this theory. But even if you don't know the opening, you do need to know that you need to maintain that pawn chain. Ah, sorry about that. Um, so you want to maintain that pawn chain. So definitely, this is just, you know, this is just basic here that you can't play here because nothing is protecting that pawn. Right, so it's it's not not knowing the French. It's just you need to do your basic calculations. That after he takes, what can you do? You could take back, right? You can move. You could protect, but taking back is primarily the right choice. But you don't take back with the knight. You got to take back with the pawn. You, you just made a wrong choice on which piece. All right. Um, so yep, this is and this is wooly. Oh wild and woolly, uh, dangerous, and I like it that you're getting counterplay and you're trying to get good counterplay. And at this point, you know, you're looking, well, this is very complex going on here. What's going to happen? How are we going to go? We get a pile up on here and white finds a, black finds a very nice counter threat, counter attack, that the bishop is pinned to your queen and he could throw that check in. That was a very nice find um, by by black. That was a good find. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, that was just a really nice find. And uh, white moves over. You could have also come up. Might have been another option, but of course you'll get checked. You could have went over here, but then you get checked. So you were down to, you know, very few choices. Here maybe would be a playable move, but here's definitely another playable move. You might want to look at coming up. We already said these two squares were non-players, uh, but you can possibly come up because you could say, well, this way um, the king's already centered. If you could trade off queens, your king is in a good spot. Your rook will be able to talk to you, the rook, very quickly. So even in this case, when you're like, well, what do I do? What do I do? Um, you might have said, I, I might try here. Now, the problem with trying here that I see is that he gets this check but then you take, and then you're still static, right? You're still, I think you're still fine. And this is where you'd have to figure out what's going to happen. Because I see things like this possibly happening. And this could get kind of dicey too. Kind of scary dicey. Um, maybe trade off everything here. So now this, this threat isn't half as bad. And you can counter, or you can even, well, this doesn't really do anything for you. But I think here you're, you're fine. You're, you're in equal footing. Right? You're down a pawn, I think. Yeah, you're down one pawn. Okay. So anyway, um, we move out to here. Oh, you're down a pawn, but you should have also been down a piece. Sorry. This variation should have also resulted in being down a piece. But you're not. You have two minor pieces. What did I miss? What did I miss? We have four, we have four. Yeah, you should have been, what, what am I missing here? 
if the bishop takes, right? Oh, bishop takes and allows the knight to take back. Okay. So if the king comes here, the knight should still take so that you can't take the knight. Duh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, the, the uh, bishop takes f4 would be bad. So we just would take with the knight. But again, the knight, the king would be centered and ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I guess my brain is not functioning very well today. This was cute too. I like this threat. Because you're threatening to take with check and the king would have to move because the queen couldn't take because the queen would be um, pinned and therefore you'd win the piece back. That was very nice. You know, where I can see where black might say, oh, it's protected. I don't have to worry about it. I'll just move my rook, which doesn't work. Of course, you'd still lose this point. But, you know, maybe I could see black making this mistake and allowing this check. And there's like, you can't take. You have to move. And then after he moves, then you could take, he would take back, and you can run away, and you'd have your piece back. I thought that was a great try. I loved that try. I, I really liked knight to b5. Looking for tactics, trying to find a way. Thank you. Thank you, King. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hey, Brandon, life is good. Glad you could join us. I know this time should be better for you, right, in England, and for better for King. He's making tea. Must be morning um, yeah, so this is nice. We also have this attack here. So, but you can't just take, to take away the defender because you lose your queen. So that was, yeah, it was, it was like, it looks like the knight is only defended once and maybe you could, but you can't get rid of the defender. So we get a move here. Now this move, uh, at the time, Ratchet was like, ah, he didn't see the purpose of that move. J uh, Jordan didn't see the purpose of that move, so... Um, don't know. No, don't know. 9 p.m. is still a whole lot better than 4 a.m. Oh, no, it was fine. You didn't need to be because you already qualified. You already qualified, so. Um, and and even if you had played, you wouldn't have counted. You and Chess Wizard wouldn't have counted because you already qualified. So it wouldn't have mattered. We did, it would have been nice if we had one more player uh, because we would have had three that qualified yesterday instead of two. Yeah, i like you to participate, too. All right, so we get, and that was, and uh, this was a good move, right? You could take and simplify, get make you get rid of your, your queen is going to go. Now, conversely, when he took chess wizard, you did have this move. And that just means that he has to weaken his pawns a little sooner, right? So there's still an in-between move that you can do. Oh, i got to change my knight bot. Oh, got to change my night bot. Sorry, guys. I am behind on my night bot update. One Wednesday review. Sorry about that. Okay, good to go. All right, where are we? So if I start having color, if I start having broadcast problems now, it's going to be because of the music, because I just started up again. Um, I don't know, King. Uh, I, I have a tournament that I could be playing in. I was telling everybody there's a tournament over in, uh, where is it? Let's go find that tournament. There's a tournament that's uh, for the new streamers union that I could be playing in. And Brandon's in that tournament, actually. He's winning that tournament way ahead. 16 points. Uh, so thanks for joining us, Brandon. But uh, yeah, I, I, Brandon, it looks like it's your move. Don't, or did you move and you're waiting for your opponent? Oh, you moved. Okay, black didn't move. So did you win all of your games that way? Just joking. Hopefully that isn't the case. But yeah, Coco Demon didn't play. So I wonder how many of these games you actually played. Let's see, played, played, played. Played. All right, just the last game is the only one that he didn't show up. Yeah, it's only for streamers. I know. But I was just saying that I could be playing in that one. All right, so we're going over games. So again, uh, Chess Wizard could have at least done this to ruin his pawn and make this an isolated pawn faster. But instead, we get into this situation. He still gets to make it an isolated... Actually, he takes this way, so he doesn't make it isolated. And in white, no problem resigning, saying... I need to get more games in, and I'll leave. 
So good job there. All right, let's go to the next game. Um, LLMP played Cash, your brother, and let's see how that game went for him. Uh, what if king to f6? At what point? Uh, I've already passed that game. I'm sorry. Dag, the lag can be really annoying. All right, LLMP is playing uh, the um, birds. And what's interesting is Cash did a very good job of prepping e5. And white did nothing to stop him. This does not stop e5. Uh, what he needed to do is something like this. So that if he gets e5 in, then he's going to be reluctant to do so. How do you want to take back? Because this pawn is going to fall. All right. So that, that's the idea there. Uh, but white did not. White allowed the trade, and we get a lot of trading going on. Now this knight, this square, becomes very, very dangerous for black. So he moves out, allowing the trades and clarifying a lot of the situation, which was a good job, and the clarification goes on. Now it's a very simplified game, semi-open files, semi-open file. Where do the rooks belong? Semi-open files. Where do the knights belong? As close to the center, basically, as possible. Let's get our knights centralized. So let's see, knight, uh, white develops his knight immediately. Black says, I'm going to keep your knight out of those two squares, but it didn't keep the knight out of here. So um, white could have done this, keeping the knight out of here and here, because the rook x rang through. And if the knight were to go here, attacking these two pawns, you could do this. If he takes the pawn, then you can come over and trap him, because he has no way out. Okay? So this would have been fine uh, because this move just gets chased and you're, and you're fine. But black did a prophylactic move. I can't fault him for that. But it does still leave this square and this square is dangerous. Right? This, is, this is the square that we said was weak before and it still is. So white piles up on the semi-open file correctly. Black, now this is where it gets bad. Because black is now trying to protect this way. Doesn't need to, by the way. He has two pieces. He already has two pieces on that square. Again, what he should do is this. Fighting for the center, keeping the knight out. And white would have to try to find operations to still break through. So this would just block down the center for the moment and give black time to maybe reposition his knight into a better square. Okay? Okay. Uh, maybe black wants f5. Uh, he could play f5. Um, and then rook, oh, and he's looking rook to c to f7. That is possible, yes. So yes, he might be thinking I'm going to do this and double up here. But we're still not doubling up on the correct file. This is black's semi-open file. This is the file black should be playing for, not this file. So, we're, um, I don't get that move. I think it's a waiting move, and we met it, and this is the move he should have done instead of this move. I don't know what this move was, but again, it could have been, I need a move, I'm not sure what I want to do. Let me do this and see what my opponent does. And then once his opponent did that, he took the time during that time and found this move. So now he's threatening right away. So yes, the pawn can push here, the knight can reposition here, the knight can reposition here, um, we're going to get this pawn push in, and we're still going to break through, and it's on white's terms in the semi-open file for, um, for white. White could have also had tried blockading here with the rook, but I think the knight move would have deterred that. Actually, this knight move too is nice, um, although he could get pushed away pretty quickly. All right, so this move is obviously a mistake because he does nothing to stop this fork. So that's a devastating fork, and that ends up um, spelling problems. Yeah, agreed. Agreed, King. So he loses that one, and then he loses another pawn, and, and then he gets mated here in the corner. Nice job by um, LLMP finding good moves, finding attacking chess, and he was, for probably the first time ever, ahead on time. Nah, <laughs> he was ahead on time, though, a lot. So, um, he found somebody that takes a little more time than he does. 
So here, I, at the point in the game, I was like, boy, if the knight could be here, it would be a smothered mate. This is nice. Attacks the rook. The rook should feel like it has to move. Didn't move. Didn't run away. Which, if it did, then the knight could probably come back here, threatening mate again. Right? If the rook takes back, you get mate. Uh, but, but, um, he moved the knight out. Not sure. Uh, it doesn't protect the rook. So the rook was still free candy. Uh, it does maybe stop mate, right? You take and then the rook goes down, the king comes up, the rook goes down, and the king can escape. So it looks like it stops mate, except we have mate over here in the corner. Nice job. Another good game. I know, I know. I am interested in Anglo. Um, I, was, I was talking about the, the beginning of the stream. I always promise that we go over our games from uh, the under 1800 chest uh, championship that I run on Tuesdays. So I was going over those games quickly and then I thought I'd try to join in either after I finished my stream or possibly as part of my stream. And then of course, um, some want to play a tournament of their own. So I, I am going to try to go play a couple of games with you guys um, as soon as I finish this review. All right. Thank you though for the reminder. Uh, I definitely already know. I, I, I was looking into it and I just couldn't get there. All right, with Lula Queen, uh, looks like she never moved. Let me just double check. Yep, white didn't move. So, hey, hey, he got a free game too. It happens. And then Chess Wizard got to play him again. All right, definitely Anglo. So, uh, you got to play him again, Chess Wizard, with another French. And this time, instead of the advanced variation, you went with the exchange variation. Nothing wrong with that. And we get into normal waters. This is all normal. This move is usually preempts this move. But here, uh, this is not so normal. This is usually normal, right? And then push, and then here, and we don't care if it gets traded off. So this was an interesting choice. I'm not sure why he thought this was better, but this is where he went. Um, you castle, no problem there. And this move is thematic as far as the way I play the, uh, the advanced French. Um, okay, King, that's okay. Uh, I don't think it's boring. I like it, but yeah, I, I mean, and if it's boring for white, then black might be happy because that means that he's uh, making you bored. Didn't like this move at the time. Uh, Jordan, who was helping me commentate on the game, really didn't like it because he thought, look at that alignment issue. And black is going to have a hard time protecting the bishop, especially when this bishop can come running, the knight can come in, the rook would be here. He's going to have a pile up on e6 big time. Did not like this move one bit. Um, I think both of us were looking at just going here, allowing this trade, and then the king actually can step here, step here. Knight can come in here. The rook will have free reign. The bishops, oh, we got a nice battery. Um, we were thinking this is the way to go and start a nice, nice kingside attack. But that's not what happened. Bishop went here, and the queen came up. Um, so chess wizard again think the rook needs to be on the file. You know me, I like you developing, but I'm thinking the rook should come first and try to take advantage of the alignment problem. And yeah, um, black can't castle queenside, um, even after this trade-off, but it's not as quick as just getting your king here as a safety net later. And it doesn't have to. Right, you could castle queen side, definitely. Um, so we get this problem, and now, by the way, didn't have to wait, could have taken right away. So this would have, if you look at it, this would have opened up the game a little bit differently. Um, I don't think you're gonna get an easy attack on him at king to f7, but I mean, it's possible. So yeah, here, here is now the king, you can go here, then we get another check, and it starts looking bad. I think it starts looking bad for black. So I think you could have just taken and doubled up the pawns, open, now it does open a file at your king, but it also opens up the king's side even more, and he's almost has to castle queen side now, if he gets the time to do it. So that was the thought there. So on this move, we didn't want, we, we were talking about the game, annotating it, and, um, commentating on it, and thought this would, thought this was dangerous because you might take. Well, again, you could have taken in the first place, so. 
Knight comes back to block, and our knight comes in attacking two pieces. So again, black could have said, I'll undevelop, but instead he takes, no problem. And white almost has to take. If you take with the queen, you get into a fork. All right, troubles in Denmark. All right, so you take with the knight, and guess where the king ends up anyway? Guess where the king ends up anyway? Yeah, um, well, technically, you say to trade your good bishop. This isn't your good bishop. You have a pawn on dark square. Technically, it's your bad bishop. But uh, it doesn't matter. Both of them have pretty nice open scope. But the uh, other bishop was actually your good bishop. All right, so got to trade a queens pretty early. And then we get uh, some more prophylactic type moves. And instead, here, here I was... I was surprised about a lot of these moves. So um, I believe at this point, oh, I just wanted doubling up on the file. I just thought Black should double up on the file as fast as he can. Just like last game where he had the semi-open file and he doubled up on the semi-open file, there's only one open file. Black should play for that file. Right now the knight doesn't have too many good squares, um, so he should. Uh, all the turn the this tournament was rated yes. Uh, all of the qualifiers candidates are rated, and if you're talking about the new streamers union tournament, it is rated yes. Yes, it is. All right. So, um, but I thought he should just double up on the file, but instead he went out here. Um, White decided to go before the next move, which actually would have threatened a knight. I would have left it. Um, but probably um, black, white realized that he could get pinned, which, again, black could have done instead of this move if he wanted to pin the knight. He had an opportunity, and he would have been able to double up the pawns. Well, not necessarily. He might have brought the bishop back. And again, all this would be nicer if we have doubled our our rooks on the file. Okay, so uh, the knight goes back and we get a break in the center. I thought a little prematurely. Again, I'd rather just double up, especially now that we have this stack here, which means these pieces aren't gonna clear out for a while. So you have time to stack your rooks. But we go with this instead, get some more trades, and we have an isolated pawn we have three against three, three against three, very even, but we get weak, isolated pawns. So one choice when you're under attack, besides protecting it, which could have worked, right? He could have protected it. He decided to push it, and we get a trade of rooks, which I'm not sure is best for white in this case, but uh, it's what happened. King comes over, takes away those two uh, squares, and we get a pawn push. Rook comes over, says, hey, how do you do? Let's trade. And uh, Black says, no. Now, White can take and then, then move his knight. And I believe that's what he did. Yes, he did, pulling the king away. And now the knight is attacking a pawn. That's all. That's all we have is a clear attack of a pawn. And somehow Black, I don't know, Black didn't protect the pawn. I mean... This seems to be the simple right move. I don't even know what the problem is with doing it. Uh, but he moved his knight. I don't get it. Loses the pawn. Now this pawn we know is poisoned. Because now the knight has no way to get back out. Right? So couldn't do that pawn. Good move on not taking that pawn. Wow, good job. And uh, the knight runs back. Pawn pushes, we get a push, we get the advanced pawn. Now we have a pass pawn. Easy to stop the pass pawn, but we have a pass pawn. So once you have a pass pawn, you push it, the knight protects the pawn. The knight attacks the pawn, and the knight attacks the knight. So this should be an easy play and an easy win for white. Right? This should be now now white's up a two pawns. One on this side and one on this side. Easy win for White. Um, white at the time, I don't know how much time he had. I'm not seeing my clock. So I don't know where my clock went. Um, anyway, so, oh, because we're, we're in a different analysis, sorry. Yes. So at this time, uh, 
what black actually was low on time with this move, which is a losing move, guys. That's a losing move. Could have went here to protect and probably still get into trouble. But this is a losing move because all white has to do is take and then go eat the pawn. Definitely a losing move. Uh, but yeah, he was low on time. White had a lot more time. 7-11 at that point. Spent uh, 8 seconds for this move. So pretty quick. And totally just missed the fact that the knight was one of the three things being attacked. Four things, technically, by that. No, I haven't. I haven't. I do have an Apple Watch, and I know I can do my uh, heartbeat like uh, I know Sudakus has done, but I haven't tried it yet. And definitely I could try new openings, King. I, I, I actually do play, I have a multitude of openings that I play. I play the King's Indian Attack. I play the Vienna Game. I play the Vienna Gambit. I play the King's Gambit. I play um, the, the Birds. All as white. I also play as black. I play the French. I play the Stafford Gambit recently. I play just e5. And I play the Dutch usually against d4. Now, I could definitely expand my black repertoire. My white repertoire is already pretty vast uh, for me. But I need to, I, I would agree that I could and should probably try some other black defenses. So I've seen the Karo Khan a lot because of Sudakus and other guys on stream. And I've toyed with the, in my head about using the Karo Khan because many of the times it transitions to a French setup. So I'm looking very strongly at maybe doing the Karo Khan because it'll be very um, familiar. Right, yeah, you were, you were thinking trade here for this one, but yeah, you just missed the night. I know, it's just, it happens. I mean, it happens, right? I mean, it's called a blunder. We all blunder, and you had way enough time. To go d4 or knight to f3. Well, knight to f3 is the king's Indian attack. I play that a lot. Uh, I don't play d4 openings yet. I, I've done it a little bit. I've almost never done it before. But I did it when I was teaching recently this last semester because I wanted my students to try d4 and e4. So I ate my own cooking. I always like to eat my own cooking. If I tell you it's good for you, then I got to do it too. And so I ended up playing d4 openings, which I normally never play. And so I played some d4 openings. Mostly I think I got into London setups without really knowing what I was doing. Yeah, the Evans Gambit looks interesting. This is, I mean, it's it's nice. White, I have no problem playing multitude of openings. And then this was a pretty decent job on um, Black's finding, realizing that the knight can make back in time to stop the pawn. That was excellent. Here, uh, you know, White could have come down so he could win the knight at least next move, but yeah, the problem is this pawn is faster. So there's no way the other pawns are going to get there in time. So as we know, the pawn is faster. And again, you know, I know Chess Wizard knows that he could resign and save and play more games. And this was one that he decided not to resign. Now that was a lot of funny moves here because I, and Black had time. He had two minutes and 19 seconds. And Black realized, I can just go down, get another piece, and I can checkmate, and I don't have to think. And so he did. That's what he did. Um, now, he does have to think a little bit, right? Because right here, oh no he doesn't, because there's still a pawn. So he could have made that a queen, by the way. And now he has no moves, he would move the pawn, and then he would checkmate. So he didn't have to make a rook. He decided to make the rook and then find the checkmate. But what was funny to me was all the way back here, he has checkmate in two anyway, right? One, king can't move, pawn moves, checkmate. I mean, this was should have been easy to find. Should have been easy to find. Yeah, the pawn is what killed you, chess wizard. You can't get the stalemate with that pawn. I mean, you had one, two, three, four moves with the pawn before he had to worry about stalemate. And then you make it something, and he still doesn't have to worry about stalemate because you still have that piece to move. 
So yeah, it's hard to get a stalemate in that situation. All right. So we've gone over three games of the champ from that day. Uh, we can go play. I can go play in the tournament. Um, am I accepting the challenge or a challenge? Uh, yeah, I mean, I could play you guys, but also we could go play in that tournament and see what that looks like. They, they, you know, were asking me to play in this tournament. So let's go. Let's go play one or two games in the tournament first, and then we'll either come back and review some games from others, or we'll do something else. Ah, oh, you forgot the pawn. Oh, that is funny. That is funny. Yeah. Yeah, that is funny. Yeah, you might. You might, uh, Rabbit. You might. You might get to play me, Brandon. But yeah, the uh, I, I was looking too. I was like, oh no, he's going to stalemate him. I actually had the same thoughts. And then I said, oh no, wait, he's got a pawn. I won't, Brandon. I won't play enough games to get your number one spot. You, you'll, you'll be number one. Even if I were to win, I'm not going to play enough games to get your number one spot. I'd have to win every game and do it fast, and and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play that many games. I have to go back to work, my friend. This tournament has two hours left, and I do not have that much time. Gotta get back to work. Okay, so we have basically a stone wall situation. If I was playing the Dutch, so it's kind of a Dutch in reverse, which I like. That's how I play the uh, birds most times. So this is interesting. The pawn's going to take back, but I think the pawn is going to end up being a liability for my opponent. Uh, so it's tempting to, but and, and you know, if I go here, then he gets another pawn, but that would weaken his king side. So we're going to go with it. We're going we're to be okay with him weakening his king side. Now I don't have a pawn to push him away. It's so the only annoying thing, and I just don't want to give him time to get a knight over there. So as long as he doesn't get a knight over there. So we're looking at queen checks, but that's not going to happen anytime soon either. Um, while my queen might be able to throw some checks in at him. Um, so I'll show you how that works. Let's start with this. We're going to go right to this. Okay, so now we attack. If he does this, then our queen gets in. Well, he actually has this move though. But this pawn is also hanging. So... He can't really do this to protect. Could do this. Which is okay. The knight looks awkward over here, but he'll be able to reposition here if he needs to. So I think he's okay. Also, if the queen comes here, we have moves like that, which may be fun, but also dangerous. Oh, just he just gave it back. Okay. He says, nope, I don't really need that pawn. Yeah, it does. That's why I didn't mind the knight in the middle. All right, so now we're going to use the pawn to chase the bishop at the same time we block the attack. He could have said, I'll take here and attack your queen, and I take back, and I can take here, and he could have had two pawns. Um, not winning the knight, though, and so now we're just going to get out of that, that risk, and I'm assuming, I have no clue if he's going to castle queenside or kingside. We'll wait and see. So Anglo is... Uh, Anglo and Flavio are the founders of this streamers union, and you guys didn't remind me, but you might want to see the clock. Um, they're the founders of the streamers union, and the idea for the, like I told you, for the streamers union is that it allows them to um, encourage and help new streamers with streaming, you know, with getting out there and being known and being seen. All right, um, very tempted to push and push again. We're going to push this way first. I mean, this is a simple trap that we threaten here, and then the next pawn, if he doesn't do anything, the next pawn push would win the bishop. And that's in case he's thinking about castling queenside, we now have a detriment, right? This Sometimes I do moves like this just to keep people from castling queenside, right? I want them to go to the king side, and that's an easy way to entice them to come to the king side. Um, we could push, but then the knight could take back, so that doesn't work. Uh, the check doesn't matter, it's too late, because the knight could just come back again. Oof. 
And if we push here, then this pawn is going to come out, and that'll stop that also. So we're looking good so far. No need to do anything spectacular. I uh, would like to get the pawn developed eventually, and I'm thinking here. So we're going to go with this first, because now I'm anticipating here or here. And then we're going to get the, queen, the bishop in and chase the queen a little bit. We like playing chase the queen. It's a good game. I don't know, they've always been pretty popular. Yeah. If you go to the modern school of chess, where you get like B3 openings and other things like that, you get, get the same type of thing. All right, so we could push chasing the knight. And I don't know where the knight's gonna go, but wherever the knight goes, let's see. I don't see the knight having any good squares. And then we still get to develop the bishop. And we might want to hold off on the bishop hoping he castles and make life easier. Um, but maybe not. We'll see. Alright, he gives up the uh, he gives up a knight for a pawn. Don't like it for him. I don't like it, said Sam I am. I don't know where he's going after that. Um, I seriously don't know. So, we'll, oh, he castles queen. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of excitement here, I guess. We're going to come, we're going to start attacking. This queen doesn't have that many good squares. We're up a piece for a pawn. Thinking his queen is going to probably go here. We can go here. He could take, we could take. This queen could come and try to trade off queens. Possibilities. I gotta think what I wanna do. I kinda like the queen here. If his queen goes here, he gets to come here still. Or better yet, maybe chess pile up on that good old semi open file point right at the king. Hey, Robin, how are you? Robin. I have another Batman shirt, a different Batman shirt. See, if I knew you were coming, I could have worn my other Batman shirt. No, there's, uh, so the under-1800 tournament, you missed that on uh, last night if you wanted to attend that. Yeah, that was last night. Under-1800. That would have been great if you could have made that. No worries that you didn't. All right, so this was another thing I thought might happen. Um, I do like this right away, because uh, then his queen can't come back here. But let's see, if I come here, his queen could pop here, I could attack, his queen still can't come here. Um, so actually, I could, just, I could just attack. I don't see any reason. Um, and if rook takes, we don't care. Okay, if rook takes, we don't care. So yeah, I, I don't, I mean, you can't go back here now. Can't go, can't go. I love it when we can restrict squares. Oh, okay, he went there first. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't go there first because then I had more fun. All right, we could come here, which would keep the queen out of here, but it doesn't keep the queen out of here. All right, because I want it to go here. I really want it to go there. Okay, if we go here first, he's got to protect with the queen, here or here. Just a thought. But I also want to get on this file sooner than later. Okay, let's jump on that file now. Uh, yeah, I could do that on Fridays. Actually, King, I'm looking at changing it to under 2,000 for the World Championship, too. Oh, sorry, Robin. Are you in the uh, are you in the UK or someplace? Understand. Totally understand. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. My wife's a stickler for me spending some time with the family, though, so I I have to pick times that work for my family. Unfortunately. Hmm. Now I'm liking here, but this is still a weakness that it would have been nice. I would have really loved it if he had made the mistake of going there. That would have been great. Now, this 
This I don't like for him because it opens up another an angle for me, which he still can't get to. So now I'm tempted to go here first, but if I do that, I can't, hmm. Well, I definitely don't want to do this way. And this way is interesting. Can he take, I take, and his bishop take with the protection of the rook? It looks like he can. It looks like that does work. If I go here, he could take here, I take, bishop takes, oh, and then I just take his bishop. I still end up a piece up. I do like the weakness here. Oh, do I get the knight in here first, though? That's a nice threat. That is a really nice threat. Um, but he can just stop it, and depending on how he stops it, I no longer have this opening at him. I also have the check. Check would probably push him over, which doesn't necessarily do anything right away for me either. Oh, so troublesome. And with this, he has moves like that. Ah. Not crazy about him taking, taking back. He has a bishop, he has the rook, he has too many pieces. So the question is back to do we take this way, try to keep the king, queen out of the game, or do we take this way? We're going to take this way. We're not going to, we're not going to spend too much time. We're not going to spend too much time. Oh. And do like that as a possibility for a check. Got to remember that move. So in this move, we do have that. That's just a nice little fun tactic. Which from here, we get to come back to here. Ha ha ha! I like that tactic. I like that tactic. All right, let's see what he does. Because now I'm liking that tactic. Oh, I haven't done one in a while. Yeah. I, 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 I did a couple of times about a week ago, just off the stream. But yeah, I haven't done it on stream. I, I got to, thank you. I got to do puzzle streaks again. And I have all of my aim chess, remember my weekly training plan. I have to do puzzles for that too. So there's a lot to be done. And we could do a simul. Um, yeah, not, not, I like the simul. Not a lot of other people. I got uh, where they were, like, they preferred not doing the simul. A lot of people preferred not doing the simul. Because they uh, wanted more one of When I played individuals, they get to hear me talk more. In the simul, it's like move, 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 move. And I don't have time to talk about my moves. So um, it was felt that the simul didn't give us much opportunities. All right. So this pawn also doesn't really work because we just take with the rook, but um, I have other plans. But yeah, um, so I, I don't know. So I do I do enjoy the simuls, uh, puzzle streak. There's so much you could do. I mean, yeah, and I've already, like I've booked everything around the tournaments and principles and concepts and teaching, 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 teaching. Where if I was, every once in a while, I, I, I put on a fun, just lazy stream where I could just do, you know, whatever. Good, Brandon. Oh, so you, you have uh, uh, the premium? Good. Do me a favor. If you're doing the premium, use the weekly plan. The weekly um, personalized plan. Use that weekly personalized plan. Okay, I think I think you. I'm testing it with my students, Chess Wizard, LLNP, and Lemurf. All three guys that played in the um, tournament last night. They are all testing along with myself using that weekly plan every week um, and complete it. Did uh, complete it for me? And I, I want to see. We're testing it to see if it improves our ratings. So there you go. Um, one of the things I've been doing, and I'll do it for you since if you want to be in my test case, uh, if you have any questions about anything, like uh, King says, it's not accurate. So if you find something that it says X, Y, or Z, and you go, I don't think this is right, 
let me know and I will um, help you out with that. So that's interesting. Um, hmm. We could take, he could take, if he takes, then he takes, and he gets the fork here. That's what I believe is the plan. I like the check here. If he takes, we take. He could take here. No, he can't. He could take here, and I couldn't take back. But then I get to take here with a lot of devastation. Oh, this is fun. Um, so I'm still liking this check. Takes, takes, queen could take. And I just got to get out of, um, you know, I just got to move. And I got checks here too. I got checks too. So I'm liking this check. And if he moves over, then I get this one attacking the queen. and the. I like that too. Wow, I'm, I'm liking a lot of this. Queen always could still... Okay, I'm still liking this. <sighs> Do we want this pawn, though? Does that pawn help us to any large extent? I don't think so. I think we're going to just try this check. I mean, that's what we looked at. That's what we looked at. It's, uh, we. That's what I thought about, so... So we're going to throw this check in and see what happens. The pawn is pinned, so we know that's not taking back. Alright, so he had to take that way. We get to take this way. Now what? Ah, there you go. It is protected, so he can get away with that at the moment. We get to throw in a check. We're going to throw in the check. We're going to throw in the check and see if we can get back rank mates here, guys. Now we could say check again. Bishop could take. Um, we could take back, and that stops any th any any shenanigans. That would stop any shenanigans, um, and we'd be up uh, bishop and a rook. We'd be up two pieces. We'd be up two pieces. So let me see it again. Check. He could take. We could take with the rook. He could take back with the king. We could come back over. I could also push, and but then he could put the queen here. No, he can't put the queen there. He could push this pawn to allow the bishop to protect. Yeah, we're gonna go with simplification. We're up. We're up a lot of material. We're gonna just stay up a lot of material. All right. So now we just we're gonna we're gonna donate that back. No check, but he doesn't have any checks either. Oh, I missed the bishop, but he can't do that, can he? No, I don't think he could do that. I think that's mate. I don't think he could take the bishop. I missed the bishop, though. All right, good game. Good game, anglo Sashin. Good game. Oh, my goodness. I'll play uh, maybe one or two more. You thought bishop takes was better? Um... Bishop takes, yeah, uh, bishop takes, where? I don't have anything for me, bishop takes, or for black, bishop takes? I think you meant for uh, someone else, right? I think. All right, let's see. So that was the tournament. It went pretty well. This was the last game in the tournament. Oh, can't forget. I don't want to lose my place. I hate losing games for not showing up. Oh, when I open the file. Okay. Hey, Brandon! All right. Brandon, he's playing something. I'm not sure what this opening is. Uh, so, uh, now... I know King would like me not to play um, e, e6, right? He doesn't want me to play the French. So we won't play the French. We'll play something different. I don't know what I'm playing. Okay, here you go. We're playing something different. Uh, we're going to go that way.
And we'll go that way. And now we're playing a Karo Khanish, but there's no E4, so it's not exactly a Karo Khan at all. Are we going to see this? See, I don't know what I'm playing, guys. I'm playing an opening I have no clue of, thanks to thanks to um, King, talking me into playing a n unknown uh, quantity for myself. Okay, we can threaten the queen. You could put the queen. In, you could put that guy in front. I don't care. We're gonna we're gonna not worry about it. We're gonna just open up the files. And I'm very tempted to do that. Very tempted to do that. Uh, I don't see any benefit of pinning right now. It just helps him get his knight activated. But I don't I don't like Now we're going to do something a little odd. I'm going to make him move the bishop again. We're going to make him move that bishop again. Interessante! We're going to go after the bishop then. Alright, now what do we have? And take knight takes back and then what nothing. No, I'm not so. No, I'm not minding pinning the knight anymore. That would be bad. That would get stuck. Oh, that's a free pawn. What is my friend Brandon trying to get cooking here? Okay, it's free candy. We we can't we cannot debate free candy. We take free candy. We don't debate it. We don't debate free candy. We do not debate free candy. Okay, do we take? No. Do we attack? Yes. Do we have the opportunity? for any sacrifices. Yeah, but I don't know if they work. Not yet, anyway. I want to cast with queenside, believe it or not. I'm very highly tempted to cast with queenside. Also, we could just take the pawn takes we take here, free candy. Um, if he takes with the queen, we can still take free candy. Or we could take the queen, he takes back, and then we take free candy. So whichever way I'm dealing with it, there's a free pawn in here somewhere, it feels like. Take here, rook comes over. We back up and threaten a lot of nastiness. All right, let's just go with free candy. Hey, Jody, how are you? How are you doing, my friend? Okay. We can go here first, threatening that, um, and then take that. We could just take that. Uh, the free candy level is going down, down, down. Kind of like doing this first. I don't know why. I have no clue why I like doing that first. Uh, pawn pushes, we still just take. I can also come here and not take and then line that up for shortly thereafter. Kind of like that. Bishop gets to come here though. And then we can slide over. Why am I going to simplify? Is there a reason to simplify? I guess we're simplifying. Okay. Uh, uh, so what did you ask me, Jody? Uh, you said, hey man, I, I heard you had a list with plays and their abilities. Oh yeah, yeah, Jody. 
Yeah, um, it's it's an analysis I'm doing based on 41 principles. So yeah, you just have to ask some questions. Yeah, can you show up Friday? <laughs> I'm not gonna have time today. It takes a while. Uh, if you could show up Friday, we could go over it. I can show you the list and we could go over it. Okay, so he's giving me the queen trade. And I'm thinking I just go for this. Pretty much has to do that. And we could follow it up with that, threatening here. And he can't take. Oh, but the queen's already holding it. Yeah, again, do we just simplify? Simplify, how about we just take the rook and say checkmate? I like that best. That, that seemed best. So, um, hey Robin, good idea. I like that idea, Robin. Take the free uh, checkmate candy. Good job. Good job. Good music. Do do. All right, I only have a little bit of time left. I got to get back to work. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry about that, my friend. Yeah, you you did leave me. You gave me. Thank you. You made it easy on me, and I, I will definitely leave before I have any chance to overtake you. But you got to worry about Ratchet because now Ratchet's in here. And Ratchet will be uh, playing for blood. He'll he'll try to he'll try to um, take your crown. You're in first place. It's Ratchet you have to worry about, not me. Hey Jody, um, actually I'm playing in this uh, streamers beginners tournament. But yeah, King, why don't you challenge Jody? We can even watch it while I'm waiting for uh, 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 last game. I'll probably only play one more. But if you play Jody, I'll, I'll bring it up on screen and we can watch you two play each other. It's a uh, streamer. You have to be a stream beginner streamers and part of their union. Yeah, you can hope that Ratchet would go easy on you uh, if you got to play him. Now, you know, it doesn't matter if you play him head to head. You just got to stay ahead of him in the scores book. And you have an hour and 55 minutes, so it might be a while. Yeah, I'll watch you guys play. Ah, oh, D. David, that's right. Let me find... Uh, we'll go out and follow D. David. 1477? Oh, 1414. I don't have you as a friend for some reason. There you are. You are a friend. Oh, no, I'm not following you, David. Now I am. Good, still not paired. D, Dave, in. There we go. Now I'm following you and uh, we're waiting for your next game. If you guys start a game, well, there you go. Five minute game, huh? Five O. Oh. Five O oh casual. All right. Yeah, we'll watch that as long as I don't miss my. Uh, start of my next game. I just hate forfeiting games. So we can watch you guys. Playing 5-0 classic speed chess. 5-0 sudden death classic speed chess. Can't beat that. Well that's weird. It's not showing that I'm sh or maybe it doesn't show I'm streaming because I'm the one looking at it. So Brandon, you can let me know on the tournament. Does it show that I'm streaming? Because I don't. I see Ratchet streaming, Anglo Sashin is streaming, and I don't see my name listed. I don't see you listed either. But I think, and I don't see me. Maybe because it's on um, me. I don't have to see my own name up there. I don't know. It's a guess. Oh, it does. Okay, so it's just it doesn't show you your own name. 
That makes sense. Shows you the other people that are streaming. Yep, yep, I see that. You're not. You're not. No worries. Yeah, and uh, King got me to play a non an opening I had no clue about. Yeah, King did that to me. I'm blaming him. This game looks fuzzy. I mean, this looks like fuzzy chess. Fuzzy chess. So I'm I'm thinking King should be repositioning that baby, and instead he breaks open the center. Okay. I was thinking here to here, centralizing that knight, keeping the bishop with open diagonals. This seems to invite this, and yeah, I, I don't know. That that's, doesn't look good. I don't know why King pushed that pawn, to be honest. Okay, yeah, well, it's still protected, so I still not sure I get it. I love prophylaxis. That would be nice. This wouldn't be bad either. Hey, Doro. Start putting pressure on. How does he stop you? I mean, seriously, it's it's not going to be good. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what you need to do right there, right there, Jody. Right there. You might have to sack that. Wow. Ah, Jody. Jody. Could have led with that and started a lot of trouble. Could have started a lot of trouble, Jody. Oh, my goodness. That would have been sweetness. This is nice, too. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And 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 you're going to either lose one of these two. One of those two are going to fall. That's a nice move, Jody. Nice move. Hey, 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 Doro. So I was going over games from the qualifying tournament. And we got through all of LLMP's games. And so we are actually technically up to um, M-Bolt's games. And he played against uh, Murph would probably be... Oh, and he, and he got a draw. Well, that draw, we don't even want to talk about, do we? We don't want to talk about that draw, guys. Uh, it looks like somebody's already done some thorough analysis to this. Of your game? I think it's uh, extremely interesting. Um, and I think you've got some nice uh, tactics going. I, 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 think, I think you missed some opportunities to even do better. But uh, what you just came out of here with was good until that move. I don't know what that last move was. Everything looked good until that very last move. I had no clue why you took the bishop with your rook, but okay. Where do you stand now? Now you're, you just gave him back the exchange that you were up. You were up the exchange and you gave it back. So I don't like that. It is a casual game though. Whoa, whoa, what happened? Oh, you asked for take backs? Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm going to go look at another game. No offense, but yeah. Time to look at another game. So the streamers union still hasn't given me a game. So I'm about to bounce out of that too. Just because. Don't need to be sitting around waiting. So let's take a look. Uh, this was the game Bolt and Lemurf. And see, somebody's done the analysis. So that drives me crazy. I'm going to hopefully move this to the qualifier tournament too. There you go. So I can not see all these question marks and other weird marks. All right, so Bolt has black against Murph. I thought Murph played pretty well. Uh, this was daring, giving up free free material. He just said, nope, go ahead and take my pawn, please. I don't know if he had seen some analysis somewhere, uh, but it was it was odd to me. So here, I was thinking, if you're going to play odd, why not go for the gusto, right? I mean, why not go for it? That, that would have been interesting to me. 
Let's see. Still no game? Oh my goodness. Oh, now I'm showing that I'm streaming. I can see my own name that I'm streaming, so I don't know what that was about. Uh, let's see, David and you guys are trading pieces. I heard all the click clicks, so I knew you were, but okay. Um, yeah, I thought maybe go for it broke, but didn't. Uh, and here, this is free candy, guys. Like, multiple ways. You could take that way, which would be nice because of this check. And the knight holds. It's it's really problematic. Could have taken with the bishop. Threatening here, but then the knight blocks in your queen and you're not getting as much activity. Um, but it does allow you to pop back here if you want and close this down. But yeah, that was free candy and Bolt just totally missed it. They both missed it. And finally, we get to protect it before it stays free candy. We get a pin, which means it's back to being free candy. All you had to do was take, take. Could have taken the free candy, but um, cho chose not to. And again, it's still free candy. Uh, so I thought maybe he had to push the pawn prior to that move, but he didn't. And we finally get the push in. This knight becomes totally ineffective for a while. Right now that's hitting it. Um, and now the knight would also hit it. So now you, you would have lost it for free anyway, but now the pawn, it's nice. This knight is out of play and blocking the rook. Because this looked really dangerous. But now the knight's out of play. So, uh, Very interesting game as it progressed. And somehow Murph lost this game? No, Murph won this game. Yeah, Murph won this game. Nicely done. Uh, the rook has no scope. And he's just taking everything. And uh, he could have just taken the rook. But he dropped his queen. Sorry. Can't do that. And now the rook still has... Oh, he does have this square. He loses the square later. I remember that. Now, yeah, see, now, now the rook doesn't have any squares. So um, you just need to attack the rook. And uh, I thought there was a way to attack the rook. Oh, there's one way. Pretty much forces a tra queen trade. Oh, and this is the beauty. Yes. The rook still has no squares. Now, when the rook went back, uh, definitely think Murph should have just taken he could have pushed one more time. Rook would have stopped him. He would have brought over. The king could start trying to come over. And he does not get there in time. We could start by taking here. And then we could start by attacking the king. Oh, that's mate. That would have been mate. That would have been mate. He can't get to this pawn, guys. Anyway, so that would have been sweet and easy. But instead, we get this, all of this trading, and we lose our beautiful pass pawn that we had. But we're still up a rook and a bishop. So, easy breezy. Easy breezy. All right, back to the uh, Jody game. And it's a 5-0 game. And uh, David, Jody, is in big trouble. He's low on time. So he's not finding defensive moves like that to try to stay alive, stay alive. Ha, ha, ha. Huh. Staying alive. He does have a queen, though. But his problem is he doesn't have enough time. Come on, go, go, Jody. Go, go, Jody. Go, go, Jody. Jody right there would have been threatening mate. Go, go, Jody. Go, oh, Jody. Yeah, Jody. Jody. Oh, lost on time. And, and hence why I don't like zero time increments. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I missed it. I should have done that. Good call. Good call, Chess Wizard. You are continuously teaching me, and I appreciate the help. Yeah, 5-0 is tough. You know, you got to give an increment. So at least, at least they can not lose on time. They still can, but... And you were nice enough to give a take-back, but... Yeah, I teach my kids no take-backs, even because of mouse slips. And why? Because you will have hand slips in over-the-board chess. There's no take-backs. And so just play it out is the way I usually try to do it. I try to do it so that they don't um, fall into the habit of asking for take backs from mouse slips or just blunders that they realize as soon as they did it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you did, sir. Yes, you did. So I've been waiting now for a good amount of time. And I'm still not getting a game. And there's only one game being played. 
So I haven't played uh, Doro. I have been, but Doro is not playing Anglo Sashin. So I've only played Brandon and Anglo Sashin. So I don't know why it wouldn't be matching me with Doro. I have no clue. But I have to leave in like less than 10 minutes, guys. Well, actually, 13 minutes by the better clock. By the better clock, I have 13 minutes. Let's see who is streaming right now. So we know some people that are streaming for sure, right? Um, because they're in the streamers union. And I see that they're streaming. And that's anglo Sashin and Ratchet. So um, they're playing each other. Let's see, there's Ratchet. Oh, you know what? I am not following anglo Sashin yet. Let's go look up anglo Sashin. No, that's not him. Anglo. I missed the letter. Anglo Sashin. Anglo Sashin. Let's check him out. We've never ever checked. I've never checked out Anglo Sashin. There he is. He's got weird looking pieces. Wow, those are funny looking pieces. I don't know how he can read those. Is the Queen Penguin? This must. Which one is the Queen and which one is the King Penguin? Now, you, now he's got me totally curious. Oops, anglo Sashin. Which one is the queen? Ah, ah, I think checkmate's coming. Oh, that was my game, sorry. Okay, so the queens are off the board. So the queen was the other funny piece. This is a king. Weird game. Is he talking? I haven't heard him say anything. I haven't heard anglo Sashin say anything yet. Huh. Let's see if Ratchet's talking. Always like it if you talk, guys. It helps, helps, helps for our viewers, for people coming to visit your stream. You want to be talking. You want to be sharing your thoughts. Um, and, and even if you just prattle, just rattle, just talk about anything, make sure you're, you're communicating. And I'm going to have to go back to work in 11 minutes. I don't think I can play a 10 plus 5 in 11 minutes, guys. And now, of course, I get a game. Guys, beat me up. Stop Isn't that the way? Now I get a game. Now I get a game. So now I gotta pause, can't listen to Ratchet anymore. And I gotta try to play a game because I got a game. Did not anticipate getting a game, thinking I was done. Uh, life was good, but here we are guys, we've got a game. And I've, I don't remember how to play this. I just, full disclosure, I don't remember what I'm doing. Got to be careful. Maybe Bishop here was correct. I definitely don't like that. Guess we got to try to pile up on it. I'm in the mood to sack it, tell you the truth. I'm thinking all the way. If he takes... I could take back with the pawn or the bit. I don't like Oh, I could take back with the queen. I'm liking that. Let's just have fun. When in doubt, have fun. When in doubt, have fun, guys. That's my motto today. That's my motto today. Okay, if I go here, he gets to go here, pinning me unmercifully. <laughs> unmercifully. All right, so the knight can go here because he doesn't, he's gonna have a, take a while to get his queen here. I mean, to get his knight out of the way. 
and push that pawn, which will give us this pawn. So that has possibilities. Let's just go with it. Like I said, we're playing fun. Fun chess today. I guess he has that simple move. I couldn't stop that, so... We could go here. Okay, so he does go there first. Oh, that uh, that also attacks there and attacks here. It, it's an all-purpose attacking move, guys. That is an all-purpose attacking move. That's a beautiful all-purpose attacking move. What can I do about that move? Not much. Well, we can encourage behaviors like that to come faster. He's still going to get this check. That's, that's annoying. I can't stop that. I can go here. Then he gets to go here with this move next. Ah, just too many bleh situation going on here. I'm thinking about just sliding over. Let's just slide over. Like I said, we're playing this one for fun. We are low on a lot of things. One of them is time. Time is in, I gotta go back to work. Not time is in. Yeah, um, I, I'm low on time as in, I gotta get back to work, right? Yeah, not low on time as in, low on the clock time. Okay, well, I have no choice there. So now uh, that move is looming a little bit. Uh, I, I had wanted to castle like 2,000 years ago, but we can't, we're never going to castle. Um, hmm. This is just ugly. If I was playing an arena, which I think this is, I would resign so that I could play another game. Because uh, this is just not good, guys. This is not good. I even like, well, no, I don't. Yeah, yep, yep. Ah, that just brings on that one. I don't think we're doing that. Don't think we're doing that. Nicely done. Good job. All right, now I can pause out. Good game. All right, I got to run, guys. Um, like I said, I shouldn't even have played that one. And it is perfect time because I have uh, five minutes before I have to be back to work. Let's see what we have here. We have Ratchet. Ratchet looks like he's our main man. Um, I do need to follow, though, uh, Anglo Session. Let me, let me give him a quick follow first, though. He's on a 10 minute break, that's okay. We're gonna give him a follow. And then we will raid our man Ratchet. Many of you may know Ratchet. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Uh, raid Ratchet Lodros. Okay, now uh, what? Um, Mm, very tricky. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I, I did not really pay attention. Um, with that variation, I'm always um, trying to decide what to do, when to do it. What, what happened to my raid? Did my raid not go through? Okay, I don't see my raid. And we'll see you later, Robin. Um, remind me maybe next time uh, I can play, wear my other uh, Batman shirt. I'll change for you. Uh, but <laughs> I didn't have, uh, you know, I rotate through. So, All right, guys, we'll see you later. Have a good night. Uh, Friday night, 8 p.m. Friday night, 8 p.m. We'll probably hold a little tournament. We'll have some fun. We'll go over our principles. And um, if you guys show up and you want to see Jody, if you want to see where you fall on the principle list, Friday at 8 p.m. would be the time to do it. That'd be perfect. All right? 
So hopefully we'll see you Friday. Take it easy, guys. Have a good have a good day.